Tell me about the game, today's uh, game. I'm not much of a spokesman. That's okay. You're an ASU guy, right? Yeah. Yeah. I understand you hit pretty hard. <laughs> no, it's not me, different guy. <laughs> What do you think is the most important mental aspect in preparing for an NFL game? For me personally, um, I think visual, visualization, I don't know if it's necessarily for a game per mm -hmm. se, but just in general, I think you kind of have to not only visualize plays and then making plays, but also being successful, um, seeing your career improve. I think once you stop being creative in your head mm -hmm. about where you're going, um, you kind of stop going yeah. and you know maybe I'm right I could just be flattering myself because you feel like you're doing it I, I you know I don't know but I feel like if you if you're able to see it happen then, then it, you know it might be able to happen on a scale of one to ten on game day what would be your ideal performance number good question I would I don't know why just eight is what popped into sure, my head I, I don't know it. it's um like, you know, sometimes, I mean, in college or when I was younger, sometimes, you know, you get real fired up for mm -hmm. games. And after a while, and, and that's good. I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with that as long as you're able to control yourself, you don't run out of energy. Mm -hmm. But for me, it, it, it just, it, it took a little more out of me than I wanted to. And so now I try to, uh, by game time, get up to about eight. Before the game, I, I really try to relax, um, you know, try to laugh a little bit, do whatever, because during the week is when you do all your preparation. On game day, you should be relaxed and ready to go. And if you're not, it's usually because you didn't do enough during the week. So I try to squeeze in, do all my thinking beforehand, so that when I get there, I can just kind of mellow out, um, and then you know maybe show up to the field at about a five, and then kind of kick it up. And by 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 game time, I'm running at about an eight. Okay, so when you're on the line during the national anthem, that's about eight. National anthem is about a ten, actually. I get fired up for that. Okay. I um. For whatever reason, I you know I have a, a patriotic bone to me, so I, I really emotionally I actually let myself go for that, but then I come right back down. What motivates you the most? I don't know. I get a lot of satisfaction out of like, you know, my family being proud of me, my brothers. You know, I I I I, I care what they think and how they feel, and I and I want them to be proud of what I'm doing. Um, I, I want to push myself, you know, I, I, I don't necessarily want to be, I think you got to get out of your comfort zone if you're kind of comfortable all the time, I, you know, you're, it's like if you're skiing, if you're not falling, you're not trying, mm -hmm. um, you know, so I, I, I kind of want to push myself a lot, um, I don't know, different, different type of things. I would say it's more external as far as I do a lot of the stuff I do because whether my parents or my brothers or, or my, you know, my girlfriend, well, whether they care or not, I mm -hmm. feel like they do, and it motivates me. I kind of like that. Mm -hmm. Stupid motivation, but that's, that's mine. If you were going to retire, what would you want your parents and your coaches and teammates saying about you? Um, well, geez. Well, hopefully I'll, I'll give them more to say at this point. I, I, I haven't been here too long. Um, I guess just, I don't know, maybe that pa the passion word I talked about, I don't know, maybe that, that's kind of important to me that I, that I, that I tried, you know, that I was, um, I think everybody, every player, you know, you, you, you want to you wanna kind of lay it down, you know, you want people to think that you are, you know, you're kind of selling out for, for the team or selling out for football or whatever, and that's, you know, kind of, I don't, you know, want to be, Dramatic, I don't know, but that's that's what I that's what I'd like. You that's play from the heart, kind of. Yeah, the heart thing is kind of kind of important to me. What would you do if you weren't playing football? I have no idea. No. I've actually given us some thought. I, I don't know. I mean, I everybody leaves the game now. Oh, I know it's going to happen eventually, and I've and I've thought about it. Um, I don't know. It's weird. I mean, I, school wise, I mean, I could go. I, I did well in school, so What'd I could probably major? go out. I was a business major, and so I could probably go out and get a job. But you know, you don't want to do something you're not passionate about. So yeah. I've actually given it some thought, and I, I haven't figured it quite out yet. <laughs>